Hey guys, in this video you will get to know how you can list all the folders and files inside a directory using Python. And also you will get to know how you can search for specific keywords inside each of these files. So let's get started. So before uh, I walk, walk you through the code, let me show you what all directories and what all files we have. So guys, this is the uh, directory in which we have the list files.python file and uh, this directory contains two subdirectories and some uh, c files comment like and subscribe and other and two other python files and one text file so inside the subdirectory you have another subdirectory and inside this one you have one more subdirectory and one text file so let's look at the code now so we will be using this os package provided by python so starting off with the for loop um, we will use the os.walk function and it returns three things the root root stands for the path and directories directories are the subdirectories inside one directory and the files inside it so let's run this code so after running you get this output so let's analyze the output the first line c uses this one stands for this uh, this directory inside which we have the list files python file so as you can see this path matches that path matches the first line of, of the output then then the os.walk goes inside the first subdirectory and prints this path so as you can see this path matches this one then it goes inside this subdirectory inside the subdirectory and prints this one prints this path and that matches the third line so as you can see it prints directory one then it goes inside sub sub day one and it prints that path so that's how os.walk works now let's try printing the directory i mean the subdirectory instead of the root so let me run it as you can see it lists it first lists the subdirectories inside the main directory so first it lists the directory 0 and directory 1 that is this one directory 0 and directory 1 then it lists the sub sub there 0 which is inside directory 0 this one then it goes inside subdirectory 0 and tries to list all the uh, folders inside sub sub there 0 but since no folders exist inside sub sub there 0 it returns an empty list then it comes out to the facial recognition main directory and it goes inside directory 1 and it lists sub sub there 1 this one then it goes inside sub sub there 1 and finds that there exists no folder inside this directory inside this directory there are no folders so it returns a empty list then it comes out since there are no other directories it doesn't print anything so that's all with directories guys now let's look into files so if i replace this with files and run the program as you can see it lists down all the files it first it returns a list containing all the files in the main directory by the main directory i mean the directory which contains this list files.py python file then file exists in this folder called facial recognition here it is so it lists it lists down all these files so as you can see command.c current c file.txt fr.py fr2 and like and subscribe dot c so here it is all these files then it goes inside directory 0 and lists the hello 0 file then it goes inside sub sub del 0 and lists this go corona go file then it comes out and goes inside directory 1 and it lists hello 1 then it goes inside sub sub del 1 and it lists stay, stay safe file that's all guys so that's all for os.walk 
Now instead of this path, you could also specify a dot. A dot stands for the, or the current folder containing this file called listfiles.py. So if you print it, it gives the same output because it scans from the folder containing this file listfiles.py. So that's it and there's one more uh, parameter called top down. By default top down is true. You could set top down to false and if you check the output as you can see top down false scans the tree from bottom to down. So first it goes inside directory 0 then it goes inside sub sub directory 0 and it, and it lists go corona go file first. Then it comes out and lists this file hello 0.txt then it comes out and goes to directory 1 and goes to sub sub directory 1 and shows the stay safe file so it just prints stuff in the reverse order that's it guys now if you're looking for specific files inside a directory you could iterate through the file names and print those files first let me remove this one and let me remove the comment in this example, I am looking for all the .c files and I am printing them. So now if I run this code, it shows me all the C files that are present in this folder. So as you can see, this folder contains like, comment and subscribe .c files. So that's it. That's how you can list all the files and you can even append them to a list if you want to look for a keyword inside them that's what i am going to show you next so let me remove this comment and this one too yeah so in this example what i am looking for is all the void functions inside a .c file if you go inside the comment.c i am looking for all the lines that contain the keyword void so here the comment.c contains a void over here then the subscribe.c contains void fun a void fun b and void hola so let me go back to list files .py and run this one as you can see it lists down all the functions all the void functions or it's not listing down all the void function it is listing down all the lines that contains the keyword void so to do that what you could do is since we have already stored all the file names in a list, you could iterate through the list. So, I am using the word file name. You could use anything like i or j for in file names. The file names is the list that we specified here. And first we are printing the file name, uh, contains the following functions. Then we are opening, a f opening the file, I mean opening the source file of the C code. So first it will open the comment.c file and then it will look line by line inside each C file and if it will look for the keyword whatever you specify between these double quotes if it is present in the line then it will print the line else it will keep iterating until it reaches the end of the file then it will open the next file that is inside this file names list and it will do the same process until it completes going through all the files. So the list contains comment.c, like.c and subscribe.c. So first for file name and file names. So the first file name is comment.c. So it says comment.c contains the following functions and it opens the comment.c file and and it iterates through each line in the file and it looks for the keyword void. So if it finds a void it prints the line. So then it goes to the next file like.c and it says like.c contains the following function it lists down all the functions then it goes to the last file in the list subscribe.c and it says subscribe.c contains all the functions and it lists down all the functions so it's that simple guys i hope you understood how to do all these things sorry for my english and the way i am stammering this is the first time i am making a video so thank you.